okay, I'm back home, finally. I've literally not been here since August. Yeah, you know when I came home for the staycation. I've been in London ever since because I've just not had the opportunity to leave. I work, obviously, until Friday evening at like 7.30. So I'd have to get a train Saturday morning and then come back Sunday, which just seemed kind of pointless. But this week, I'm really lucky. The family I work for have gone on holiday and they've given me a week off. So, you know, first thought, I was like, right, I need to get back and actually see my family and go home for a couple of days. And that's exactly what I did. It was really lucky. I didn't even have to get a train. My mum was down in London, so she just drove me back. I'm having a good time. I've been here for two days. I've only got two days left, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to bring you along for today. I don't have anything that exciting planned, to be honest. I kind of just want to do home stuff. That sounds really weird, but you know, like, stuff you do when you're at home. First thing is we need to go make breakfast because I'm absolutely ravenous. <sighs> I've decided that every breakfast I've made and showed you, even though it's tasted really, really quite delicious, has actually looked disgusting. Like, you know my usual yogurt, granola and fruit bowl? I like mix it all up and it just looks like, I don't even know. And then Weetabix, so delicious, but it looks like slop in reality. So today I've decided to try and make actually a pretty breakfast. My favorite thing to do is go for brunch. Like I barely can go because it's extortionate, but I just go and every single time I get the yogurt and granola and fruit bowl and it just looks so pretty. So that's what we're going to do today. I've got this little bowl. Do you know one of those Charlie Bigger meals? I think it's from one of the pies. So I'm going to use that because it's just a bit nicer than a normal bowl, you know? And then add my yogurt. Mm. Perfect. Mmm. It's really cold. <sighs> Next is the fruit. Now, I think where I was going wrong is I cut the fruit, then add the yogurt and then granola and cinnamon honey, mix it all up and yeah. You, you know what it looked like. Today, we're not doing that. I'm feeling a strawberry side and then a raspberry side. Where do we put granola? I could leave a hole in the middle. Does that even look pretty? <laughs> okay, I feel like it's better than one of my others. What do we think? You can't even see the yogurt. Also, it's tiny. I'm gonna have to make another one of these because my other breakfast is like twice the size. But still, it's gonna be yummy. I've already sabotaged it. Whatever. Mmm, this tastes good. This tastes really, really good. Also, I've got a really good new iced coffee recipe. Like, this is delicious. Really, really delicious. Basically, what you do is get an espresso machine or just make yourself some coffee and like, make some, but not too much. Add some agave, you know, the syrup, and like stir it about a bit. Add lots because mm, it's so nice. And then put it in the fridge just while you get out your ice and milk. Add that to a glass, add the coffee, and it's done. I don't know what I saw in those flavor drops. Like, rank, they are rank, you know? I used to literally swear by them, disgusting. Agave, it is the new way forward. Mm. Anyway, I'm gonna finish my breakfast. I'll see you in a bit. I've decided that I need to go outside. I got ill last night. Like, you know, when you go to bed and you're completely fine, and then you wake up halfway through the night feeling like death. And then I woke up in the morning also feeling like death. And I know the normal thing to do is just spend all day in bed, like watching TV. I can't do that. It makes me feel so much worse. Like if I spend all day inside, I just feel stuffy and gross and it just makes it a million times worse. So I'm gonna have to go outside. I also kind of want to, I want to just walk around the village and see my horses i need to show you my little sister's got a new horse and i've not actually met it yet so we need to go meet it okay let's go hi oh my gosh i've missed horses so much oh don't bite me okay this one's so cute this is heather my little sister's new i don't know if it's a pony no i think it's a horse and then we've got skippy hi skip it's my dad's skip's quite dirty i think i might brush you in a bit Oh, this one looks quite grumpy. Okay, that's actually so cute. That is one thing I really miss in London. Like, I miss my dogs, obviously, but you do see about 100 different dogs a day on the street. You're not going to see a horse on the street, are you? Actually, maybe a police horse, but, like, you know, rarely. Anyway, next stop is my local shop. Have I told you this? I don't know if I have. It's turned into a Morrison's. Like, we've literally got a Morrison's in my village. Tiny little village in the middle of Norfolk, literally in the middle of nowhere. And we've now got a Morrison's. So I go in, but she's so excited for my Rubicon, which was the sole reason I used to go to that shop. Cause you literally can't buy them anywhere in London. Like I literally go to every single shop. Maybe the occasional corner shop would have them, but nowhere. And I was like, oh, it's fine. I'm going home. I can go and get a Rubicon. No, just cause they've upgraded to a Morrison's. They have the cheek to not stock my favorite drink. 
I'm actually over it already, to be honest. In fact, I think I will be returning tomorrow, so it's like this today or tomorrow, because some of that stuff looks really, really quite nice. I was just in so much of a rage at the time that I couldn't bring myself to buy anything, which is a bit inconvenient. But anyway, I need to go and make lunch. I'm quite hungry. I can't actually bring you with me, sadly, because my parents are having lunch. Like, they've got friends over. I wasn't invited. I know. Rude. I'm kidding, it's, it's not like that, but still I wasn't invited, so I kind of need to just like run in, make something really quickly and then leave again. This next part of the video is sponsored by First Rate Tutors. On First Rate Tutors, you can access an AQA English GCSE revision course, which covers absolutely everything you need to know for your English GCSE. They've basically got 67 hours of video lectures on every single part of the syllabus, and they've also got accompanying model answers, which are a grade nine standard. I've always found model answers really, really helpful because you can compare your work now to a model answer and sort of see where you're going wrong, and what you can do to change to get better grades. Another good thing about it is it's a one-off purchase. So once you've bought it, you've got full lifetime access and the site's constantly being updated, which is just an added bonus. Finally, it's self-paced, so you can just access the site whenever you want. For example, after an English lesson, you know, when you've not quite understood what your teacher's talking about, you can go to the site and teach yourself or consolidate what you've learned. But then if you've got your GCSE coming up, you can do super intensive revision and watch loads of the revision videos and get like tips on points to use in your essays basically if you've got your english gcse coming up i really really recommend this so i'll leave a link in my description anyway back to the video right it's like 4 30 now and i'm putting on this face mask it's the fresh rose face mask i've lost the brush by the way so i'm just having to you know whack it on with my fingers i've been in bed for the past two hours so i just didn't really know what to do with myself like this is the first time i've been home in actually years when i've not had anything to do if that makes sense and it's a weird feeling like it's quite nice but also i just don't know what to do with myself it's all on and to be honest it looks quite rank it looks like i've got mud and rubbed it all over my face but oh well it's definitely done the job in waking me up and i'm hoping it cures my skin my skin's been unnecessarily bad recently like it's actually beginning to annoy me so i'm hoping this works some magic and just sorts it out anyway i've had an idea but it's not really a recent idea i've been wanting one all afternoon but I was thinking, I'm gonna go make hot chocolate. I've got new flavours and they are sensational. I had one yesterday and... Okay, let's go. I actually had this exact one yesterday. It's peanut butter, but it's also got like caramel, milk chocolate and salt. It's just really, really nice. These are so easy to make. It's just the velvetizer one, you know, you add milk and then the packet of chocolate and it's done. I think I've overfilled it. Oh well. Mm. Oh my god, this is so good. I need to give my mum a sip to try because yesterday I made it and she didn't try it and she got really annoyed with me afterwards. So we need to go find her. Mum, I've got you something. Oh, thank you. Taste test. It's taste the peanut butter. me. No, it's a taste test for you to taste it. It's the peanut butter one. That's delicious. Good. Thank you. Do you want to keep it? Yeah, it's for me. Okay, well, I'll remake one then. I've decided how I'm spending the rest of the day. I'm going to get into bed, watch a film with my hot chocolate and this. This is my chocolate of the week this week. It's the Christmas mix, but it's actually more specifically the hazelnut milk chocolate Tonys. It is so nice. And that with the hot chocolate is like so good because it's like hazelnut peanut chocolate, you know, it's just amazing. But yeah, I'm really, really hoping I don't spill this all over my sheets. I actually can't imagine like going downstairs and being like, I've got hot chocolate all over my, look at my sheets. They're like bright white, oh, whatever. I'm going to be really careful. It, it won't happen. Oh my God. I'm really hoping it doesn't happen. Anyway, I'm going to end this video here because I'm actually not doing anything exciting for the rest of the day. Well, not that my day's been that exciting anyway, but my sister's literally just cooking us dinner and then I will be getting straight into bed because I am actually exhausted. Like, I don't know what's happened to me today. I am so tired. But anyways, I'll see you soon.